Mike found a pack of risottos a couple weeks ago. It's a kind of big, mean looking fish. And uh, Anthony and I have been digging it up all day. We started out, there were some skull bones. It was eroding out head first. The head was coming out. There were some jaw bits and a couple of teeth as we first came up on it. And we dug back a little ways. There were a few more elements in there. And that let us know that we needed to dig a bigger hole, go back a little further and see what was there. So we dug back a ways. We started running into some vertebrae, a nice big string of them. So we dug back a little further by hand and uh, the string of verts went right into the back of the, the wall. So we pulled out the jackhammer and Anthony ran the jackhammer and I threw rocks and we cut down a ways with the jackhammer. We got down to it and switched to air tools. Sometimes we like to use air tools because they're a little bit more delicate. This chalk that we're working in is the really hard yellow chalk. It's Sometimes you see the gray stuff, it crumbles a lot, but this stuff is uh, pretty solid and it stands up to air tools pretty well. And we went back a ways further and the verts stopped. We were hoping we'd get a tail. There's a nice big operculum from the, the one of the bones that supports the gills and a lot of skull bits and some ribs and some spines and it stopped right before it hit the tail, which is kind of a disappointment, but that also means we're done digging. We went around it, we did what's called perimetering where we tried to find the edges of the skeleton and we dug a little bit further to make sure there were no more bones in the rock and we've gone all the way around it. Our next step, we're going to take the chainsaw and, and it's got a special carbide blade on it and we're going to cut into the chalk. It's soft enough that we can do that. And we'll go all the way around it, undercut it, pull all the rock away from it so it's on a pedestal. Then we'll take some burlap, soak it up in some plaster and, uh, and wrap it up. And when that cures, we'll separate it from the ground, flip it, and take it out of here. On back to the lab. Flipping the jacket was a great success. We broke it free of the ground, turned it over, and there was no bone exposed on the underside, which means we've got the entire specimen encased in rock. Now all that remains is to remove a little bit of the excess matrix, so it's light enough for the three of us to carry up the hill. We'll take it to the truck and back to the lab. It's hot. 